men from the future, loud mouth braggarts. Nope. Just me, baby. Just me. What's up, people, Dead fans? I'm making a video to give you guys a good way of putting more grit into your Ash vs. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, or Army of Darkness Chainsaw. Now, this is the one I'm doing for myself. Very similar paint scheme that I do with all of mine. And I just want to put a little more grit into this one. Uh, it's my own personal one. Proper length here, proper size. And you really can't see, but a proper shine with this, with the screen used ones. Now, this one is going to be seen accurate when it comes down to the one that I'm making right here. This one's going to be specifically for the fight scene between Ash and Vivian. Now, my good friend Gothman suggested that I should name this one Vivian, so I will. As you can see, it's all blacking out on the inside. And also, what a lot of people don't do, here's a tip if you're buying a chainsaw from somebody. See on their photos if you can see a gap. Because if they don't cover that gap up, then guess what? You can see your hand. And if they do suggest to wear a black glove, they should maybe think about redesigning their chainsaw, to be honest. Uh, a lot of things have gone down the last few days, and uh, it's, been, it's been a little bit crazy. Uh, I'll get to that in just a minute. One thing about this grill, you can tell it's a little bit higher than the low pro that you see mostly on Ash vs. Evil Dead. Now, I actually had a taller grill. This one was taller, but I shaved it down to match the one that is being that was used that Rob put on his working chainsaw that he posted on YouTube. They actually sent out for the uh, uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show, and he did post that on the night on the Knights of Samaria page. If you guys are a member or want to be a member, Rob's on there. You can contact him that way as well. If you uh, don't know which way to contact him, you can always come to our page and be a member. Certain people can be members and contact him. But yeah, this one is going to be or seen accurate. And we'll go over this in just a minute and show you guys how to do that. So with that being said... I talked to Gothman and we had a big discussion about people stealing props and prop designs and ideas. And he made one very good point. He said, if you buy somebody's prop and you remold it and sell it for your own, that's a shitty thing to do. On the other hand, if you're a person who is making a prop, that's already been done for a movie, TV show, music, whatever, or any kind of entertainment that's been seen nationally, if you're making that and selling that, guess what? It's not your design. Somebody's already done it. You're ripping off the original guy. So anybody who's making a chainsaw, anybody who's making any prop that's ever been seen on TV, music, TV, movies, whatever, you're ripping them off. And he said, basically, we're all black market sellers. And that makes a lot of sense. So whenever I, whenever I hear somebody say, well, they ripped off my design. Okay, has it, been, has it been made before? Is it original? That's different. Now, if somebody uses your techniques, you should be actually flattered by that. In my opinion, you should be flattered. And, you know, imitation is the best form of flattery. Yeah. So, with that being said, that's the way it goes. Now, there's always trolls in the background that are over somebody's shoulder going, Oh, that's your, that's your thing. Uh, you should put that in a bottle and hide it. Here's the thing, dude. Go piss up a rope because, number one, it's already been done. It's been done before. You're copying somebody else's design for two. Number three, now you're making a profit on something that's been done by a professional studio already. So guess what? <laughs> Suck it. And also, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that right now. And I'm not calling anybody out on this. I'm just saying in general with trolls, uh, especially if they're uh, about to 
pull out their AARP card and grab a nice dinner at three o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah, yeah. So basically, that's what that's about. And let me go over just a few little details when it comes to building chainsaws. Oh, before I get to that, actually, I've been chatting most of the afternoon with a guy I met. His name is Chris Pollock. Now, Chris Pollock, he has done um, props for movies, TV shows, things like that. He's a tattoo guy. He's a Muay Thai fighter and a teacher as well. But most importantly, he's a very, very, very good prop builder, which we are very happy to include him and knight him with the Knights of Samaria. He is going to be with us, and I'm very proud to have him out there um, with us. And he knows of all the chainsaw builders. And right now, he is building the most specific to detail flat top that's ever been made to the splintering off the handles. That's how good this guy is. And of course, the first guy he contacts to talk to about making chainsaws professionally, unless he called Rob, was me, which is a big compliment on my my behalf, and, I, and I'm very, very, uh, just, uh, what's that word? Uh, I wouldn't say flatter, just, uh, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just like, wow, just super impressed. And he, he sent me tons of photos of what he's done, um, all the props. He's gotten props from some of the big wigs out there and worked with a lot of big guys as well. And also, he's also made the perfect screen accurate Evil Dead 2 cuff that's ever been done. Better than the cheap, uh, not cheap, but the inexpensive one that I did on my working one, way better than anybody that I've ever seen that's even been out there. This guy has done it. He has perfected it and he will market it at some point. And I've talked to him, I said, as soon as you do that, let me know, I'll buy one and I'm gonna promote that right on this channel because he sent me some photos of it, guys, and it is amazing. It's the best one I've ever seen. It's to a detail. To every, well, sorry, every little detail it could possibly have, it's in it. And he's done it. And he will market those. And hopefully, he will market first, I'm hoping, with the uh, KOS uh, Facebook page with all of us and all of the people who are trying to make a flat top and uh, stay away from trolls. Because we know how sometimes trolls can be like, I want to get this now. Oh, how about you take this and use this for a design? <laughs> you know, that's what happens with trolls. Yeah, I, yeah. That troll thing still gets under my skin a little bit. And uh, it's just kind of funny that people look at everybody's stuff, but a lot of guys come to me. It's kind of funny. And I'm sure some people are laughing going, <laughs> why they come to him? The proof is in the pudding. I have a gosh damn power glove done by one of the best in the business. Now here's the thing. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this again right now. The only people when you're replicating something that can properly sue somebody else for replicating is the production company or the official builders. Now, Ultrafix Studios did my power glove. Now they did props uh, pertaining to a video game. They were contacted by EA Sports directly saying, stop, don't do this or we will sue you. That's how good he is. And that gentleman also went everywhere else. Now I'm not putting down any chainsaw builders. I'm glad everybody's building chainsaws. And even Rob said that he, he contacted me, said I'm glad everybody's building chainsaws now. That's really cool. But when it came down to it, he contacted me. So when, whenever I get trolled comments from somebody else, I know, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for bringing this back up, but when I get trolled comments, you know, it hurts me a little bit. But then I got to look up and see a power glove and go, oh yeah, this guy can shove a finger right up his asshole. Yeah, seriously, I don't, that's, that's you know, I'm going to let it off my chest. Yeah, and there's little inside jokes about me, which is whatever. So, and also... With that whole thing, when I made that video, 
everybody went around looking at photos at everybody's stuff. So when it, when it finally came down to the bottom line of it, my stock went from here to here. So I want to appreciate that, appreciate that uh, uh, trolling there because my stock went to here and the other stock went to here by what I've heard by about 35 to 40 people. So I do appreciate that. Thank you so much for giving me that uh, motivation. Uh, but nothing personal against any builder ever. I, I do think that's cool that everybody builds and likes to do stuff. But at the end of the day, I can always look back and my KOS brothers and sisters and friends and subscribers, they got my back. And even though I didn't ask them to, they did right away. And I appreciate that. I want to give a good big thanks to those guys and girls. And also, you know, stay strong because we're all KOS. We're all the original Knights of Samaria, the first, the original on Facebook and the official. So like I said, with that being said, there's a few details I want to go over. I'm sorry about ranting for a little bit. And uh, like I said, nothing personal against any builders and I'm not gonna name out the troll. I'm just gonna let you know that he's about two years on to having adult diapers and uh, earlier bird specials. So, and one thing you gotta remember guys, when somebody is trolling you, a troll thinks you're a dick, right? Now, a lot of us who are on YouTube, we can smell a troll coming from a mile away. But that troll can smell a dick coming from a mile away. So remember that, guys. Uh, so let's get over that. We're done with that. All right. When, when it comes to Evil Dead chainsaws, now with building a flat top, talking to uh, Mr. Pollock, when it comes to building a flat top Evil Dead chainsaw, you still got to remember that the body is a plastic body. It is not a metal body by any means because of this connector here and also scene accurate and screen accurate is a hard plastic handle. Now, if you guys don't believe me, check this out. Don't take my word for it. Hi, my name's Jerome and I'm six years old. I'm here to talk about this book called Evil Dead Chainsaws 101. And it's a really good read. The, the first chapter talks about how if you're making a flat top, not to use a metal body and use a plastic body because they invented a thing called silver paint. And a good way in chapter one talks about to decipher the differences is the flat top has a hard plastic handle, not a metal handle, and an insert's completely different. It's a really good read. You should go to your local library and go check it out. Evil Dead Chainsaws 101. It, it, and if you're like me and have the code to decipher all Sumerian writing, like me, you should go check this out. It's a really good read. Me and my mom give it two thumbs up since she's divorced and on her 18th husband. It, his name is Cousin Gary, which is really odd because all the rest were called Uncle Gary. But hey, who am I to judge? So go today to your local library and go check this out. All right, so there it is, Evil Dead fans. That is the proper body to use. It's not the uh, metal body. It was never used. Uh, you can emulate, like I've done in the past, which is my design that I was the first one to do and to making the handle look more like a plastic handle and connect to a plastic body, which I don't mind if anybody else uses because that was my design. Nobody else did it before me since that connects differently. I figured I'd just put that out there before I go any further. And also the paint that I use for my Ash vs. Evil Dead bodies were not used before anybody else, maybe except the series, because of this. New. And if you want to know what color it is, you have to look on past videos. 
It's new. 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 <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to put some grit in the gaps of this piece right here. Now, I'm going to do it on the chainsaw body as well. Not the body, but the motor insert as well. Um, I usually just put a backing and texture that because you'll never see it when I do most of my chainsaws. But since this one is my personal one, this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm actually going to do some grit into here. And remember, you can't do this unless you have a backing as such. Now you can use uh, such backings as cardboard. I wouldn't go with paper, cardboard or like a nice foam. This is a nice foam and I've done cardboard in the past, but it's not hard to do. It's basically five minutes at your time. So if you buy a chainsaw for somebody who doesn't do that, you're going to say, Hey, well, you didn't have an extra five fucking minutes on your hands. Basically. Now the glue you want to use, you do not want to use regular Gorilla glue because this stuff foams up as soon as it gets uh, wet in the least. It'll look like a big wart. And also, you don't want to use like super glue. You can use a gel glue, uh, super glue, gel glue, but I wouldn't suggest that. So what we're going to work with is just simply a nice craft bond that you got to make sure it dries on clear. If it doesn't dry on clear, then you're going to, you know, have to do a lot more repainting. But we are going to do some painting after the fact just because... What we're gonna use is black sand. Now, Atomia Creations, they have a whole different method of doing stuff like this. And he told me about it with, uh, I'm not gonna tell it because that's his thing. Uh, but did a really nice uh, suggestion, of, uh, suggestion of how to actually texture stuff without using sand. Now, as you can see, it's black sand right here. And since I have to give credit where credit's due, is since this method, I'm gonna use this method, I learned this from my kindergarten teacher with glitter and glue and cheated off a girl next to me who was doing the same thing back in that class. Those people will receive a nickel out of every one of the ones I do with this. No, seriously, okay guys, this method has been done as long as there's been sand, which God made sand, and also, since glue was made, since somebody looked at a horse hoof and said, hmm, maybe that could stick to something. So that's what we're going to work with today on doing it. And a little bit of paint, but we're not just going to throw some paint on it. We're going to actually try to keep this texture of the sand in, in between this piece right here. Right in between here. Just these two, this, and I will show you guys with the black paint here in just a minute. All right, guys, so we have our chainsaw sitting right here as we speak. As you can see, I put some grit in there with uh, heaving up the paint and hand painting everything inside. It looks really good, but I want just a little bit more depth in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this glue, which dries clear and is flexible. <clears throat> it's just a simple glue. And what I'm going to do is put it on the edges on the inside of the chainsaw here. Now, I can't do this one-handed, so I'm going to turn the camera off for just a minute and show you guys what it looks like so my little gremlins can come out and do it uh, because some people or one person thinks I don't do my own stuff. So my little gremlins will come out and do what I, what I can't do. So I'll be right back with that. All right, so we got the glue put in place. It's just simply this glue. And what we're gonna do <clears throat> is do like you learned back in school and add some of this black sand. If you want an older look, you want more of a brownish, reddish sand and kind of mix that together with a little bit of black. If you want it to look like it's aged, especially if you're doing a certain kind of model chainsaw. But this one we're gonna try to make it look like it's been used, it looks newer, you can see the glue in there. And then when you apply the glue, when you apply the glue in there and you see it's kind of piled up, just wait a minute, it will actually start to smooth itself out. So what you want to do is give it one of these. Die in the graveyard before you get it. Hey, uh, what's that you got on your face? Oh, I'll come back for you. Okay, you, can you can seriously just dump it on there like I just showed you from Army of Darkness 
or you can slowly pour it on in which I just did. Now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and let me go over just a couple other things and then we're gonna let this, while I let this dry and uh, I just wanna be serious just for a quick minute, minute. All right, so while that's sitting, I just wanna have a really quick serious minute. Uh, first and foremost, Giovanni, I've talked about him on the last video and he's really trying to get the comic book off the ground. So if any of you guys are interested in any original Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, Ash vs. Evil Dead artwork, definitely get a hold of him. He does have a deadline. He does have the artist ready to go. It's ready to become a comic. So definitely buy some of his artwork. It's super inexpensive. It's not crazy expensive like you're buying a Van Gogh or a t-shirt. Some just to support the Ash vs. Evil Dead comic that could possibly happen with support from you guys. Um, another serious thing that I want to talk about is I've learned that <clears throat> uh, another prop builder, uh, Levy Metal Enterprises LLC, they, uh, he actually brings young kids in who, wants, who want to make props or learn to make props into a shop and he teaches them on how to do that kind of stuff. In my opinion, that's one of the coolest things you can possibly do. So if you're in his region and want to learn how to make props, find him, find him. He's on Facebook, uh, Levy Middle Enterprises LLC. That's a really cool thing that he does. So, and with that being said, yeah, I say that a lot. I know that. <clears throat> um, guys, the whole trolling thing it obviously bugged me. And I do understand when somebody's backing their friend up. I do understand that. And I'm tired of talking about this. And this is going to be the last video I talk about this. Unless I get trolled again, then it's all coming back. Uh, the thing is, you know, I have a lot of respect for Levy. And I do not have respect for his friend who was a troll. I don't. I, uh, and I'm just being truthful. And to be honest, uh, I have talked to all the other Evil Dead guys and things like that about it and the knights and it, it kind of sucks he i heard he's a big fan of army of darkness and ash and stuff and unless he bought a kos ring from the auction or makes it right with me he won't have one of these this is official this is the real deal unless he already has one or buys one from somebody else somewhere else because uh, we're going to be the only ones who are going to be reproducing these rings. And talking to another gentleman, which I mentioned earlier, he might actually start talking to jewelry, or jewelers, I can't say that word, um, people who do jewelry on doing rings. So full rings, not just the tops, full rings. <clears throat> and we'll see how that goes. That's another thing in the works. So to be honest with you guys, if you guys want to be in a group of folks that are specifically Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, Ash vs. Evil Dead, and need props to build chainsaws, books, uh, necklaces, and things like that, I mean, we are willing to sell, and we're willing to buy, and we're willing to trade. So let's say if you don't have any money, but you got a really cool looking dagger, right? And somebody needs that dagger, but you really like that person's book and you can reproduce your own dagger again. We're willing to help you connect with that person to come to an agreement to a good trade and you guys will feel comfortable with that. So that's one thing that we offer you guys. It's not a site to just sell stuff, it's not. It's for all of us Evil Dead fans to come together and say, hey, guess what? We're here to keep the trilogy alive and here to help all the fans out with the exception of one, unless he makes it right. Because I, I'm still bitter, still bitter, Mr. Whatever your, your fucking name is. You don't deserve your name on my video um, until you make it right. Because trolling at your age, that's bullshit. My dad would smack you across the face because you guys are about the same age. Because uh, <clears throat> grown men don't do that. But I just want to make that clear. I want to just let some heat off as well. Uh, I, ha I had a lot of stuff for this video and I got a lot of, st a lot of stuff up ahead and I'm real excited about checking out that screen accurate cuff that's never been done. And uh, 
yeah, it's my little piece is drying right now. And somebody's pulling up the drive, but I'll continue this here in a minute. All right, as you can see, it looks really black right here. You can see all the sand, extra sand, which is fine. I'm just gonna sweep that away, but holding up here, you can see it's still really glittery, but it looks really nice and gritty. Now, one thing you might wanna do once you actually put the sand is, sand in it is, if you don't like where the actual uh, glue is, go in with a paintbrush and just start meshing it in and add more in if you actually want to. And that's what I did, and it actually looks really, really, really nice. And make sure you brush whatever glue away that you don't want sticking, because it'll end up sticking. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take a uh, all-purpose acrylic glue, or not glue, but paint, black paint, uh, satin. Uh, if you go with way too much of a glossy black, it looks too shiny. So you definitely wanna go with satin, and I'm gonna dilute that with water once this is, this is fully dried, and just start dabbing it in, and covering that up so it loses that, you know, gleam right here. So, but that's where we're at right now, and it's looking really good. This has been a fun video, and it's been nice to get a lot of stuff off my chest, and, you know, the whole thing is about, you know, the goofiness and crap that I did a little bit earlier, you know, I'm not anybody's fool and I'm not anybody's bitch. So if you want to be friends with me and you want to talk about props, I'm cool with that, but you got to be professional. I don't care who you are, whether you make them or not, you got to be professional. So one more thing for I, I go right, guys with. wrap the video up. It's uh, still drying, that piece is still drying, and I'll go over the paint at a later date, probably the next video, but it's looking really good. Uh, I think I covered, on a past video, my uh, block piece. If not, I'll cover that in the next video as well. Just wrap this up. It's been a fun video. I know I poked fun. Um, it's all because when I thought something was actually squashed, there's a little funny joke about me. And the only thing I'm asking is to make it right. That's all it is. And with the, us on the KOS community, we're willing to work with a lot of people and to connect people into meeting to get the right props to each other, whether it's buying, selling, trading, who knows. And I'm gonna say this right now, um, I'm gonna be 100% honest. And if this troll called me on it, <clears throat> or called me out on it. And I swear on my brother's grave, he passed away a couple years ago and I held his hand while he died and he was my best friend. And guess what? I'm a straight man and he was gay, but yeah, he was my brother. And I respected him because he's my brother. And I believe everybody has a second chance. And I do that. And I do believe that 100%. So I'm gonna swear on his grave on this. I have never taken anybody else's chainsaw design to make mine. I didn't even know about Rob's chainsaws until after I started building chainsaws, until I looked at his later. Number three, my chainsaws that I build that are from Ash vs. Evil Dead are all from the stills from the VIP auction. Everything else beforehand were all from stills and video captions, that's it. Now, nothing personal against anybody else's chainsaws. I have no reason to look at somebody else's chainsaws and look at their design and take it. Because what I do is to help people to build better chainsaws. I am not worried about people stealing my design. And the whole thing, oh my, this drives me nuts because this person, the, the person that I'm talking about, it, he, the whole little troll thing, and this is what he does. You should, oh, the competitors are gonna steal your stuff. They're gonna steal your stuff. Yes, I'm gonna admit it. I have checked the Facebook. I have checked what you've messaged because you're, you're, a, 
You need to change the way you act if you're going to live in a world full of prop builders, the troll guy. You, you need to change your ways because number one, the props that are being built have already been produced. This is a reproduction. It is not an original. Get it right. If it is an original, then you got something to bitch about. But if it is not, shut your mouth and know your role because you ain't shit in the prop building world, okay? And I am pissed because that is the truth. And if you come at me, and I'm letting it all out right now, if you come at me accusing me of shit, I swear to you, you're going to regret it. And I guarantee that's what's happening. And I'm being very professional of handling it and blacklisting you in a lot of shit. A lot of people who have dealt with you have contacted me saying they're done dealing with you. Because you're bullshit. And I'm sick of it. And I'm sorry for getting mad. And I'm so appreciative that I am in a community of the KOS that actually handles everything professionally between builders and collectors. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. Thank you, Gothman. Thank you, Ultravex Studios. And Alex Anderson, I'm waiting on you to friend me on Facebook because you are a new knight. You are exclusive with us. But if, if, if anybody out there is one of these people who looks at something that's been reproduced from a production and straight up says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, guess what? Yeah, you better not let anybody know about it because yeah, the competitors. This. Everybody's a goddamn competitor who's a builder. Everybody. Now, if it was me who makes a superior chainsaw, which has been deemed by other people, I would have a problem if somebody was making it. But you know what? I don't. I release that information to the Evil Dead community because that's what they deserve. Because I am a real Evil Dead fan. You are obviously a selfish piece of shit. And I am not editing this video out. Because I'm sick of people like you. And I'm sick of people saying, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. Or that's yours. Don't let anybody see it. I'm sick of hoarders. I'm sick of people collecting props and not helping out the rest of the community. You are nothing. In my opinion, you can go suck it. You can hate me as long as you want. You can talk to me directly. Levy has my number. Give me a phone call. I will talk to you directly. And I will be 100% honest with you. And I'm sick of people like you. You need to change your ways, know your role, and buck up and be an adult. So with that being said, guys, on the next video, I will go over a few more, more things. I will talk about how I put in more paint here, or actually put in the paint. And yeah, I got a little heat up there, but I really wanted to throw that out there. And I'm not talking about Levy when I actually vented. I'm talking about his friend. So uh, if he wants to call me directly, he can, because his friend has my number. Uh, I have no problem with that. So until next time, I just want to make things right. And I would like him, for him to actually be in the Evil Ed community. But like I said before, there's things people need to do to be an adult. And just to let you guys know, just a quick visual at the end of this video of what we're doing with the KOS site and how strong we're becoming with all the good builders. I'm going to give two examples from a great movie. Until next time, you guys stay groovy. Now... Who's with me? I'll stand by you. You can count on my steel. I'll offer up my courage. The sword's by his side. I'm with you. I'll get my bow to your will, sir. Get my bow to your will, sir.